The origins of the Kitakami go all the way back to World War I, when the Kuma class was built, following dissatisfaction with a smaller Tenryu class. Kitakami herself would be the third of five such ships, laid down in September 1919, launched in July 1920 and commissioned in April 1921. At this point, she was a relatively unremarkable late 1910s era cruiser, armed with seven single 5.5 inch guns in a hybrid layout. Most of the guns were on the centre line, which was more modern, but two were mounted on the wings, which was an older design variant, and of course they were all single mounts, not twin or triple turrets, which was the new Vogue. Capable of 36 knots from 90,000 shaft horsepower driving four screws, she was quite fast, and her four twin torpedo launchers gave her a useful anti-capital ship bite, but compared to contemporary cruiser designs, she kind of traded firepower off a little bit for speed. Over the interwar period, minor changes were made, her anti-aircraft machine guns were upgraded, the mine's storage area became a hangar for a seaplane that was stored in parts, her funnels received caps and were lowered a bit, and the superstructure was slightly altered after the fourth fleet incident. New fire control equipment was installed, and she was converted to be fully oil burning, with one of the last changes being the 1937 exchange of two 80mm anti-aircraft guns for triple 25mm mountings. However, as time progressed, the utility of these smaller cruisers became somewhat questionable in a fleet engagement, and so the Imperial Japanese Navy hatched a plan. Three of the Kuma class, Kitakami, Kiso, and Oi, would be converted into torpedo cruisers. This would replace all the weapons aft of the four funnel with ten quadruple torpedo launchers, five per side, for a total of 40 torpedoes, with a 20 torpedo broadside therefore possible. These plans were finalised in 1937, but then quietly classified for implementation only when it was felt a major war was about to break out, in order to give the enemy little to no warning of what might come steaming out of the night. Materials began to be collected and warehoused in 1938 so everything would be ready to go, and by late 1940 enough equipment was ready for two ships to be converted, with a few spare torpedo launchers left over. And so, over the summer of 1941, both Kitakami and the Oi were converted into their new form. This left the four forward guns and the 25mm mounts in place, but levelled and widened the ship structure after this point, with the superstructure slightly enlarged, forward, and more equipment for night fighting fitted. As the new flagship of the 9th Cruiser Division, she re-entered active service toward the end of the year and was assigned to the combined fleet's battleships and thus Kitakami missed the early months of the war, and was off keeping the Aleutian Island attack force safe at the time of the Battle of Midway. With the Guadalcanal campaign getting underway, both Kitakami and Oi were based at Truk, and in the absence of any major surface engagements in the area, they had their aft torpedo launchers removed and replaced with anti-aircraft guns and small transport craft, leaving them with eight launchers apiece. The two ships were now used as very heavily armed high-speed transports. By the end of 1942, the 9th Cruiser Division was disbanded as it seemed obvious that they weren't going to get a chance to use that massive torpedo spread, and by spring of 1943 the two ships were supposed to be converted yet again, now into full-fledged fast transports. This called for six of the remaining eight torpedo launchers to be removed, along with some of the power plant. The guns were to be replaced with smaller dual-purpose weapons, and cranes installed for Daihatsu landing craft, which would be carried to ferry the supplies ashore. However, there was no shipyard space available, and so instead, Kitakami just lost another couple of torpedo launchers and had depth charges installed. Thus acting in a transport escort role, she was torpedoed in early 1944 by the submarine HMS Templar. She was then patched up, returned to Japan, and began still another conversion, this time into a Kaiten, or suicide torpedo, carrier. She was to serve as a training vessel for Kaiten crews until the ex expected invasion of Japan, when it was thought that she would then sail with her complement into a final battle. This conversion removed all of the ship's weapons, replacing the main guns with 127mm dual-purpose guns, it sloped the stern down to form a launch ramp, added a crane to move the various Kaiten about, expanded the superstructure yet again to accommodate additional crew, and some of the turbines were removed to create space for spare parts, 
which also meant that the damaged units caused by the submarine attack didn't have to be fixed. Plus, radar, Kaiten rails, and dozens of 25mm anti-aircraft guns were installed. The 25mm, which seemed to be the one thing Japan still actually had in large numbers in 1945, began to appear more and more on the ship over the next few months, but even nearly a hundred of them failed to prevent the ship being crippled by a US Navy airstrike in late July of that year. Still unable to move after the end of the war, Kitakami was converted into a repair ship to keep the other ex-Imperial Japanese Navy ships running whilst they brought home Japanese troops who had been stationed overseas, being towed around as needed. Once that task was complete, she was sold for scrapping in 1946. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have a comment or suggestion for a ship to review, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to comment on the pinned post for dry dock questions.